guys thank you so much for clicking and welcome to yet another video on television ck now as we always say if you are new to this channel please be sure to hit the subscribe button and also the notifications button so every single time we post a new video you will be one of the first people to know also if you are revisiting subscriber thank you so much for coming back we do appreciate you a lot so a young man who goes by the name Richard Amwa has been on the hot seat this entire week after actress Amake Abebrese and KOD recently have led a social media campaign to call for the arrest of this young man after he made a statement pertaining to wanting to have sexual relations with 12 year old DJ Switch. Richard Amwa made this comment under a picture that DJ Switch posted on her Facebook. He has expressed his desire to sleep with a 12 year old girl. Now, this despicable comment that he made caught the attention of actress and gender activist Amake Abebrese, who has called for his arrest. And also, KOD placed the 2000 Ghana cities bounty on the head of this guy, calling for the public to report him to the authorities. Now, finally, Richard Amwa has spoken about the incident. According to him, he says hackers or some people he identifies as haters have hacked his account and they use that to pass that tasteless comment. He also apologized to Ghanaians, the general public, as well as DJ Switch, noting that he would never commit such a heinous crime watch this so later on today i started having notifications from facebook i'm not someone who's always on the social media because i'm a very busy person i mainly have time for my phone but i started having notifications from facebook so like i was wondering and when i checked it i saw that many people in my dm someone advising me to stop some to a area insulting me and i was like what's up what have I done? So like, I tried to follow what was going on and I saw that someone was actually using my account, Richard Amwa, that account, to make those unnecessary posts. So please, I beg you, please and please and please, those posts weren't made by me, but actually a hacker or someone I'll call my hater did that. Please and please, please. It's not me. Stop trolling me, please. DJ Switch, you could be my younger sister. I can't do no such thing to you. Please. Please and please. Alright, so that was Richard Amwa apologizing to Ghanaians and saying that some bad guys hacked his Facebook and used it to uh, make that comment under DJ Switch's photo. What do you guys think? Should we believe him? I mean, this hacking excuse doesn't really make sense at all. I mean, come on, he's Richard Amwa. Who knows him enough to hack his account and then use it to make comments under DJ Switch's picture? What do you guys think? Should we let it go and accept his apology and believe his story or just should we drag this issue on a little longer to, you know, kind of teach him a lesson? What do you guys think? Moving on, Ghana's very own Ibra One has come out again to attack Honorable Kennedy in Japan. This time around, he's saying that a man a Kennedy Japan yo mwa deni na anone mu fan ada free. Remember not too long ago when Honorable Kennedy Japan was coming after some leaders uh, on his television station, that's uh, Net Two TV. Ibra asked Kennedy Japan to stop, otherwise he was going to, to expose him and some of his illegal dealings. He also went further to, to threaten his life as well as that of the president. Ibrahim used his social media handles to ask Kennedy Japan to apologize for his various attacks on some personalities in the country. He also told Kennedy Japan to issue a public apology or die mysteriously together with the president. Now, in several rants and posts, he also accused the MP of having a hand in the death of an undercover journalist as well as the Ibuaka North MP, J.B. Dankwa Edu. He also alleged that the business mogul and MP was also into money laundering and had secrets which he didn't want exposed. But Kennedy Japan was not amused by what Ibra had said and said Ibra would be arrested and investigated. According to him, Ibra One was now on his radar and he will be monitored 247 until his arrest by Ghana security operators. Now this banter between the two also got a lot of social media users talking, you know. But while most people say Ibra is no match for the outspoken MP, others were also eager to know how the banter will play out. A lot of people jumped on Honorable Kennedy Japan's team while others were on Ibra's side. After a while, the feud between the two seemed to have died down until Ibra recently posted a picture of himself and a young and a certain unidentified lady saying that he had had sex with her and Kennedy Japan had also had sex with her. According to him, he had sex with a girl for free, though others paid very expensively to have sex with that particular girl. He wrote, most of the girls you pay a huge amount of money before you f 
have all me before for free they asked me not to snap them because they you also you are an old man and can't last in bed so they take your money and come and me for free next time go sit on your tv and disgrace any leader and i will also start to name some of the girls both of us have we all know how to do kiss and tell just that we are protecting some people's images and don't forget a couple of months ago when the politician threatened to expose ibra and get all his car seized because he was a fraud guy don't forget that his brother abbas pleaded on his behalf noting that he was bipolar so do you guys believe that maybe he is indeed bipolar and what he's doing is you know as a result of his mental illness or whatever you guys should let us know your thoughts in the comments whose party are you on kenya de japan or ibra one and do you think this is even necessary at all moving on ghana's very own controversial ifia schwarzenegger has made a comment that has got social media users talking now ifia schwarzenegger says her sons want to marry women like her when they grow up now of maritable age seeing as a lot of Ghanaians have a certain perspective or a certain notion when it comes to Ifia Schwarzenegger I mean she's outspoken she's controversial and it came as a shock to a lot of people when she when she made this statement um, Ifia Schwarzenegger posted a video of herself dancing on Instagram and under the video she wrote my son said if the woman is not like you we are not marrying them because we need somebody like you prayerful and playful like you to give us long life when you are gone we need her to remind us that our mom was life thank you she wrote this and she tagged her two sons now a lot of you might have negative comments about it but from where i stand i actually believe that a lot of young men when are growing see their mom as the kind of woman that they want to spend their rest of their life with and uh you know there's this saying that men marry their moms every young man is looking in the woman they want to marry for traits uh, of their moms all right so that's all for today's video which of these three um stories do you have a view on let us know what you think in the comment section below don't forget to keep your comments as respectful as possible and also if you have not subscribed to television ck please be sure to do so and hit the notifications button so that every single time any video drops on this channel you'll be one of the first people to know also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it and see you in the next video